All right, uh, really good day today from our players. They came out here and they competed really hard. I thought yesterday wasn't as good of a practice. We challenged them coming in and they really brought it today. So uh, third down red area again today, good compete across the board. Looking to get better and excited for this weekend. No music in practice, part of the drilling home is to bring your own energy kind of deal. Yeah, we're just recognizing this environment's gonna be a little bit different. We need to change the environment a little bit at practice. Get an explanation from the Pac-12 on the pits on Buck. I haven't seen him yet, no. You talked earlier this week about wanting to, to learn to win on the road. What does that specifically look like for you? Are there things that you guys did at Texas Tech that you didn't like that you're trying to change specifically? You know, I thought Jalen Hurts said it perfect the other day when he was talking about, you know, 1A and 1B. 1A, win, right? 1B, play to the standard. If you do either one, right, without the other, you're going to feel unfulfilled, right? And that's really what it's about for us is, is, is making sure we hit 1A, and one B. We want to play to the standard and we want to win the game, right? But win the game most importantly. You know, we were able to do that at tech, but we didn't feel like we played to the standard. Right? And that's what we want to make sure we bring this week. Some of the younger running backs kind of stepped up and shown something in practice so that they are ready. Yeah, we've got plenty of guys back there that can tote the rock and are ready to go, but it's not just toting the rock, it's how they do in protections. It's what they do from a route standpoint. But we have the guys there that uh, can do a good job and like I said before, you're not gonna fill a no Winnington shoes. Like what that guy's done for our team, you can't you can't fulfill that, but we do have good players on our team that can help us there. I kind of hit on two of the trades there. He was more or less like the third down back at times, particularly in the passing game. Just are there are there certain aspects of his game that make it hard to either just replicate or know for sure that you have a guy that can replicate until they do it? We have talent on our team that can replace uh, some of those things that uh, he does, right? But you're not going to replace him, right? And, and he wasn't just a third down back. He was in everything for us. He did it all. And we were, we were fortunate to have the best uh, running back group, in my opinion, in, in this conference. So uh, I think we still do. I think we still have dynamic pieces there. And there's some guys that you probably haven't seen that I think can do big things. Have you guys established a couple roster yet? We have. Has the energy of the D-line been any different this week after such a breakup? I think anytime you have a, a performance where you perform well, I think that builds confidence, right? And then you get to you build build off of that, you know? But we're not playing last week again, we're playing next week, right? So it's about what you do now. I thought the guys, like I said, today was a great practice. Yesterday wasn't, right? And I told our guys that. So they, they really attacked it today. They got after today, but it's going to be about what we do on Saturday and up until Saturday. Stephen Jones pulled a lot last week. He seemed to be pretty effective in the run game when he was. I don't really know what that did, but what makes him at his size that effective as a guard to pull? Like, it's not revolutionary, but he was pulling outside really effective. What, what did you see from him back the past? Time? Yeah, I told Stephen after the game that that was his best uh, game he's had since he's been a duck in my time here. Um, and I was really impressed. There was a couple guys that had some of their best games uh, in that game. But when he plays like his size, he can be really, really special. And he, I thought he played like his size on Saturday. Who were some of those other guys? Uh, I, there, there's a few guys that really stood out. I, I'm beyond uh, Steven, there's a couple guys that had their best game. I can't name them off the top of my head right now. So far this year, Bo, a small sample size, but Bo's been running a little bit less than he was at this point last year. Is that kind of just the, the flow of the game, or is there a concerted effort to kind of keep him out of harm's way a little bit this year? Uh, just a combination of us realizing and playing into our strengths. If we need to run Bo, we run Bo, and Bo would be excited about that. Um, you know, but it's really more about playing what, what we need to do to win the game. You spoke earlier about how selfless the tight end has been. Can you speak to Casey in particular and what you've seen from him getting in the end zone for the first time on Saturday? Yeah, was, I've, I've been really impressed with how smart Casey is. He comes in here and he learned the system really well. He's able to execute at a high level. You got um, a bunch of tight ends in that room that do a really good job and can play it at, at a high level for us, and he's certainly been one of them. How do you describe his use of 12 and 13 personnel, not just inherently in the run game either, but how is how would you describe it, and how is it maybe different than what Kenny did with, with 12 and 13? A lot of similarities, uh, really, to be honest. It's more about how does the other the opponent match us. If they're going to stay small when we go 12, then, we, then we're going to you know, get big and run the ball. If they're going to get big, then we're going to go ahead and spread them out and see if they can cover us, right? Because that means they have an extra outside linebacker on the field. So it's really about how their personnel matches up and how we feel like our personnel matches up against them. Troy talked about your team's ability to get up big in the first quarter and how that's forced teams to get away from Combination of players knowing exactly what we're going to be running, right? Exactly what we're going to accomplish. So I think that goes back to, to what you script in practice and painting a really clear picture for your for your players early in games, um, and then also just execution, right? Of that of that same plan. That makes sense. Yeah. So Bucky got asked yesterday about kind of 
getting credit, and he said he doesn't have to touch the ball at all. Everybody on the team can get talked about as long as Oregon wins. Can you kind of just talk about his mentality and how important that's been to that running back? Group? Yeah, selfless, right? Bucky's a selfless player. He's obviously a dynamic player, right? And uh, when he's on the field, we're, we're a really good team, right? And what I love about Bucky is he doesn't care who gets the credit. That's a great example of, of that kind of player on our team. Yeah, we think he's he's one of their best pass rushers. I mean, he's got juice, you know, and, and it really shows up in the pass game. Um, so he's got somebody we got to be aware of where he's at at all times. What have you seen from Turchus and Tuyo? Yeah, obviously, he got his first sack on Saturday. Just what have you seen from those two freshman pass rushers? Yeah, they, they, we, we have some pass rush ability with these guys that we've brought in, and uh, they're both two guys that are embracing roles that they've gotten and utilizing that time when they're on the field. Once Justin can go, well, it's this week or after the bye, just what – what do you expect from him? What do you think he'll be able to offer to you when he's coming back from injury and he's missed this much time? Yes, yeah, great player, and uh, I think he, as he gets more and more comfortable, obviously we're always going to be precautionary for him, but as he gets more and more comfortable, we're excited to see what he can do for us out there. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.